Eating about legends, good morning. We are at the Darwin River Tavern this morning. Uh, the reason being, there is an epic ride. It's going to run from the tavern. And it's going to run all the way down to Banyan Tree. So this is with a group called the Dorks, which is Darwin Off-Road um, off Cycling Club. Um, never been with them before, or met any of them before, so we'll see how this goes and we'll meet up and we'll see what's going on. Um, I'll bring you along for the ride. I can see it's a beautiful morning, it's cold. I say it's cold, it's 19 degrees. But obviously as the day goes on it gets up well into the 30s. So, we're looking at around 40 odd mile um, as it stands. Now obviously 40 odd mile in the big scheme of things isn't much, but when you're out in the bush, temperature's starting in the sort of mid 30s, uh, you're in the middle of nowhere literally. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. And today we're on the Mondraker. The e-bike is in the house, and we're gonna do the big rides just with the um, just with the Mondraker. I do see a few e-bikes here, but let's see how we get on. Right, I'm going to attach you to the handlebars and I'll bring you along for the ride. Right. We'll all just uh, obviously keep an eye out for each other. Uh, some of us have not done the trail, or some people have not done this trail before. But do take your time. It is uh, rutted out in some sections, so just ride to your abilities. Um, pull up if you need to. Um, Andrew will be sort of tailing behind. Um, Simon uh, will be sort of leading the race, or the, the event through. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, it's not a race. Not a race. It's not a race. It's not a race. So, um, yep, comfortably down. Obviously, once we get down towards the end there, um, you do, you are, we do go on the Litchfield Road. Um, so, obviously, single file going down along there, stay right to the side. Um, until we get to the banyan, and then um, same, same coming back. But on the trail, it's fairly, fairly well, um, fairly quiet. Um, the last couple of times we've done it, um, so just enjoy the day. North of London, Cornwall, Cambridgeshire, mostly Newcastle, where I'm from.
right then, ladies and gentlemen. This was at the halfway point. I'm not gonna lie. The first sort of 10, 15k went out far too hard. I started to suffer. So I'm riding an enduro bike basically. There's a lot of um, road riding to be done, so. Um, but it's been good fun up to now. So it's been about. Um, just under 40k, I think, so far. 35k maybe. Um, something like that. So. I'll keep you on this um, ride on the way back. Um, let you see what it's all about. But um, there's a bit of um, bitumen to drive on, ride on, and the, the Enduro bike brand new tires, it just doesn't like it. It's like pedaling a tractor. But anyway, um, keep us informed. I'm going to have another Gatorade trying to get some more fluids into me, protein, and so on. And um, get the other 40k back again, or whatever it is. Okay, so as I say, keep sticking along with it, and we'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're off again. Um, so we're leaving Litchfield National Park in the Caravan Park. And we're headed back to the Darwin River Tavern. I'm not gonna lie, it's hot, 34 degrees. And an all mountain enduro bike does not like riding on these roads. I think I'm right at the back at the minute because of it. Hard tails and e bikes all ahead of me. Anyhow, keep on paddling and see how we get on. Eat and a bit. Every now and then you see some metal sort of circular chain type stuff sticking out of the ground. And that's when you remember this is the old the old railway from Darwin to Adelaide. Well this absolutely fantastic. Hard going but fantastic. Right, I'm a wee bit lost here, I'm not sure where I'm going because I was mucking around with my drone um, I sort of went right to the back of the pack there and mucking around with it and taking pictures and flying the drone and uh, there's guys behind me who have stopped and had a few mechanical issues but I think this is the right way Right legends, run our way back from the uh, right, that was tough, I'm not gonna lie. That last 10k, 35 degrees. Wow, I haven't ridden sort of in that sort of heat for that distance in a while. Um, and like the last 10k, I wish I had the Santa Cruz e bike with me. However, it's done, it was great fun, met a few nice people there as well. 
I'm now going to tuck into in one chocolate kilometer, milk, turn right under Cox Peninsula crisps, Road. juice, you name it, and I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to leave this here with you. Um, please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Do all the good stuff. Uh, we'll get some more watching me suffer on Eat and a Stay safe.